What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of GTA Online. We are back here on the Smuggler's Run. You guys can see our collection is growing, but there's definitely still room to improve. So uh, let's go ahead and open up our phone here. We're going to drop down and, um, you know, we have a lot of new stuff to check out. I think let's just complete the Warstock plane. So we have Elita stuff and two new vehicles, two new cars, but um, we've already checked out the Maltok as well as the Tula. My baby. Oh my gosh. I love that thing. So let's go ahead and finish out the Warstock military planes here. We've got the LF-22 and the Rogue. So uh, the LF-22 Starling, $3.6 million buy it now price. Let's go ahead and purchase that bad boy. Looks good to me. And uh, let's see what we bought. One moment you're on the runway, slowly inching into position and wondering what all the fuss was about. The next, you're 200 feet in the air and rising, a shrieking human speck on the front end of a blazing rocket trail making straight for the stratosphere. Why are you doing this? How do you get down? What happens if you start crapping out heavy munitions at this speed? Honestly, we're hoping you tell us. All right, guys. So it sounds like this is going to be the speedster of the group. This thing, I mean, you guys can see. Does that have, is that a tiny propeller? I'm assuming this is going to end up being rocket powered. I'm not sure, but uh, all right, it's ordered. Let's wait till she gets here. Look at this little guy over here. Are you kidding me? It's all a little short and stubby. It's like a little chode plane, dude. What the? <laughs> this thing looks ridiculous. It's got like a, a line across the top. I've got it. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely jet powered. You guys can see that engine back there. Um, I've got a feeling. I mean, this thing obviously looks funny. It looks like a big toe. This is like a, a big toe plane, but um, I've got a feeling it's going to have some surprises for us. I think this thing's going to be pretty good. All right, so as always, as per usual, we're going to start off with some uh, some upgrades here. So we've got that, throw the flares on, bombs. We checked out the cluster bombs in the last episode on our Tula. Those things were really good. Uh, this was a clause of noxious gas on impact, incendiary or explosive. I'm going to say... Explo I feel like cluster is like explosive except better. So I'm gonna say let's go with incendiary. Let's see what incendiary bombs are all about. So we're gonna go with that. Put the race handling on there. Uh, weapons, homing missiles, of course. Thrust, rocket boost upgrade. Increased fuel capacity for extended use of the rocket boost. Yes, please. And uh, now let's check out the customization. So livery. We could have a winter spray here. Stars and Stripes, the Dazzler, that actually looks pretty cool. I want to I wanna look at it from the front. There we go. All right, Stars and Stripes, the Dazzler, Falcon or Falcon 2, Air Force Display, Redwood Racer, Sprunk Extreme, the Stargazer, <laughs> Mr. Unicorn. All right, um... Honestly, this is Falcon one is pretty sick. That's just I mean, that's gonna make it look Super legit like Streamline that sort of thing. This is actually pretty cool as well to add a little bit of flavor in there. I might try um, I'm gonna try the dazzler for now. Let's see what this looks like on resprays though All right, so we're gonna change. Yeah, you know what I I kind of I'm, I'm gonna go with the Falcon one we're gonna go with Falcon 1, we're gonna respray the primary color. Oh, I didn't even realize it's got the Air Force stripes up top. That's actually pretty sick. You can't really change anything on this. I, I kinda like that though. I think that's good. Just to make it look super sleek and 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 badass, I guess you could say. So that looks good to me. Let's go ahead and exit the hangar here. And let's get it, guys. Let's see what this thing's all about. So we've got that extended rocket booster. I feel like this thing's already gonna be fast enough, but we'll see what happens here. Holy cow, dude. I think this was the right livery choice. This just looks really good. Super, super sleek and refined. All right, flown using a rocket boost plus L3 to take off and maintain flight. The boost will slowly recharge over time and faster when grounded. Oh my gosh, dude, are you kidding me? So we can't even retract the landing gear, I don't think. Right to fire flare countermeasures. Circle. Oh, yeah, I forgot we have the bombs. Dude, this is insane. It's like a rocket Voltic, except in plane form. Holy cow. I feel like it's the perfect time of day for this thing, too. It's nighttime, it's cloudy. Hey, partner. Do you see those shipments marked on your GP? Ah, I don't care about that. We're checking out the new vehicles. But yeah, it's nighttime, it's cloudy, and we're like 
creeping around in this Knight Rider type plane. This thing's pretty sick, man. I like the look of it. Ooh, we've got a helicopter under us. Ooh, is he trying to get... Is he trying to get spicy with us? We can get spicy. How do we... So, L3 is usually your landing gear. How do you put your landing gear up then? R and L are to do that. Um... I don't know if we can. I really don't think we can. It's all right though. This thing's so fast. I don't think you really need to. So we've got our, our missiles, of course. Let's go ahead and open up our bomb bay doors though and see what these fire bombs are all about. So let's find a nice, nice straight through town. Dude, this is insane. Oh, uh, we could, you guys want to hit the interstate? Let's hit the interstate, the freeway. Looks good to me. Get our bomb open. You guys ready for this? I'm gonna wait for a good moment. Here we go. I don't see a huge difference in this and the cluster bombs, to be honest. I was expecting basically like a napalm strike. I mean, it's still cool. I'm not gonna lie, it's still very, very cool, but it's just not that, uh... It's not that crazy incendiary situation that I was expecting. Let's go ahead and put our bombs up and we're gonna head back towards the hangar. Alright, so this is interesting. I like it, it's very quick and I could definitely see where this thing would be very, very useful. I mean, the other two planes that we've checked out so far have not been very quick. So this thing's gonna be huge for outrunning people and and catching up to people and that sort of thing, but um, incendiary bombs were a bit of a letdown, I'm not gonna lie. I was just kind of expecting a little bit more out of them, I don't know. I, I don't even really see a fire factor to them. I just see, I see an explosion. No fire factor though. I don't even know where those bombs just went. Don't know if I'm trippy or not, but are you the real T-Martin? Yes, Unknown Legend. Thanks for being a fan. Appreciate it, brother. But yeah, all right, cool. So, I mean, interesting, interesting vehicle. Really like it. Probably changed the cluster bombs just because I feel like those are a little bit better. And, um, I don't know, man. Interesting stuff. All right, let's head back to the hangar here. And we're going to check out the final plane that we have. I'm going to go ahead and hop in to the runway here. Beautiful work. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow it down. Slow it down. All right, we're going to come in much slower than that. Dude, I... This thing doesn't even want to land. There we go. Holy cow, you really... I mean, this thing just... It likes to get up and go. It did not... It did not want to be on the ground, man. That was nuts. All right, so we're going to head back to our hangar. And let's check out the next vehicle and now we're on to our final war stock vehicle which is gonna be the rogue it looks like this thing's gonna be 1.6 million dollars let's go ahead and buy it up looks pretty intense it's a two-seater which is nice and uh let's see what makes this thing special the casual observer of the rogue looks like a classic single prop training aircraft and that's exactly what you want them to think because with room for machine guns and missiles anti-intercept countermeasures and a full-size bomb bay you reducing those casual observers to puddles of speechless blood and piles of stupefied bones all day long. School's out. All right. So, um, interesting. It sounds like this is going to have a little bit of everything, too. It's not going to be amphibious or have a helicopter mode like our Tula over here. But uh, it's going to have rockets. It's going to have machine guns. And it's going to have bombs, which is going to be cool. So, uh, let's check it out. They threw this thing right in the middle of the hangar. All right, I actually really like the look of it. I think it looks pretty sleek. It's got that big prop on the front and uh, the cool little exhausts out there on the sides. It's like a mix of a traditional aircraft and a fighter jet at the same time. I like the look. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and modify this thing. Armor all the way up, flares, engine all the way up, handling all the way up. Looks good to me. Weapons, we'll go ahead and uh, let's check out the gas bombs. I want to see what these gas bombs are about. Primary weapons, explosive cannons, or 762 machine guns. I'm going to go with the cannons. I feel like cannons are always important. And um, didn't they, 
Ooh, we've got homing missiles as well, and we can... Wow, dude, that's nuts. So we've got three different types of weapons on here. We've got bombs, explosive cannons, and missiles, which is pretty awesome. So now let's check out what we have for the livery. LTD gas, operative, rogue operative, green baron. Oh, dude, that's sick. The red devil, golden kid, wonder kid, racer, rogue racer, fighter, Dude, I'm gonna, so I really like this one right here, but we already have the red, uh, the, the first plane that we got, I forget what it was, the like, Russian one, so the Maltok, I think is what it was called, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the red here, we're gonna go for the golden kid, we're gonna go for like a, a yellowish golden look, primary color, let's go ahead and change this up, oh dude, the black and yellow looks so good, so does the red and yellow, we could go pink and yellow, Orange and yellow, yellow and yellow. Oh, actually, the bright orange and yellow, or even the yellow and yellow, actually look pretty sick. All right, so we're gonna go with that. And then secondary color. Is this gonna change the trim on the windows? Yeah, it is. I'm probably just gonna go with black here. I feel like black would look pretty good. Where's brown. Where's black at? Come on, black, 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 black. Holy cow! There it is. All right, that looks really good to me. This is our. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. I was gonna, our, our golden girl? I don't know. It's it's some sort of a, a gold look to it. You know what we could, dude, we could do, what if for our primary color, what if we did like a pearlescent yellow? Oh my gosh, brushed gold? Hold on, I'm gonna check out. What if we did a, a pearlescent yellow that gave it a little bit of a shine to it? Just cause it's that yellow goldish? There's gold. We want yellow, though. Race yellow? Nah. It doesn't really look as good combined with the, the livery, actually. I kind of like the look of this. All right, so we're just... We're going to rock with that. Looks good to me. Let's exit this hangar. And uh, here we go, boys. Plane number two of the episode. Let's see what this thing's all about. So it doesn't have any sort of assist on the, uh, the launch. There's no, like, quick launch or anything, I don't think. We're good. Telephone poles don't really matter. But yeah, I mean, you guys can see it's, it's, this is basically a normal type of plane. It's not, uh, it's not breaking records or anything. I'm gonna try out these gas bombs. So see, like, all the bombs to me kind of do the same thing. Like the, the fire bombs, the gas bombs, the cluster bombs, they look different when they're dropping from the plane, but the, the reaction is, is kind of the same like I, gas bombs I was expecting this like crazy green toxic gas to come flying out of them and, and start kind of taking over the, the area beneath us I don't know let me know what you guys think I'm going to do some research on it and see if any of them are actually better than the other ones but uh, for the most part I, I'm not really noticing a difference but still I mean this thing it feels it feels pretty good man it's nice and fast agile I can definitely see us whipping this thing around and Running some missions with it. Let's go ahead and, uh, what do we have here? We have missiles, we have homing missiles, and we have the explosive MG. Ooh, dude. That's gonna be so good. Much better than just normal bullets. And, of course, we've got these missiles here. So, uh, that's pretty sick, man. All right, I'll take it. I just like the look of it. Let's go ahead and hop inside. So, ooh, this actually looks pretty cool, dude. So like I said, it's like that old school pl classic prop plane, but this is like a legitimate military fighter jet type HUD in here. So it's it's kind of the best of both worlds. I don't know, it looks pretty sick. I'm, I'm fond of it. I like it. All right, cool. So I'm gonna head back to our bunker and uh, I'm gonna see you guys in our next episode. I say, what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'm kind of thinking about maybe uh, Maybe checking out the new cars in the next episode. Let's take a break from the planes. We'll check out the cars, and then maybe the next episode after that, we'll check out all the Alitas planes. That's probably the plan. So I'll see you guys there. I hope you guys are excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Holy cow, this thing is nuts, bro. Absolutely nuts! Get some altitude. Woo! And now we're going to land. This thing, the explosive rounds on that MG is going to be a game changer. All right. I'll see you guys in the next episode.